let's take a look at this problem. We got x times x plus 14 is equal to negative 48. Well, it looks like it's already factored. We don't have zero on one side. So first thing we're going to do is get rid of these parentheses, get everything over one side, and then refactor it. So I'm going to take that x and multiply it through, distributive property. x times x is x squared. x times 14 is 14x. And I'll go ahead and, while I'm at it, take that negative 48 and move it over to the left side. So that becomes a positive 48. Okay, now we have 0 on the right side. So now we need to factor the other side. There's no GCF. Uh, groupings, four more terms, no. Um, I don't know what I'm starting right there. This is PSD. The reason why it's PSD is because we have an x squared, x, no x, no number in front of our x squared. PSD, we take the number at the end, ignoring signs, and we come up with our three columns. P column, an S column, and a D column. In the P column, we're going to write down all products give us 48. We got 1 times 48, 2 times 24, 3 times 16, 4 times 12, and 6 times 8. S column, S for sum, we want to add these together. 1 plus 48 is 49, 2 plus 24 is 26, 3 plus 16 is 19, 4 plus 12 is 16, 6 plus 8 is 14. And a D column. D for difference. Subtract smaller from larger. 48 minus 1 is 47. 24 minus 2 is 22. 16 minus 3 is 13. 12 minus 4 is 8. 8 minus 6 is 2. Number we're looking for is a number in our middle term, which is 14, which is right here, which means we'll use 6 and 8. Okay. Now the larger number that we're using, we're using 6 and 8, so the larger one is the 8, will always be the same size as the middle term. In this problem, that's a positive. Number with circles in the S column, S for same signs, both positive, both negative. Since this one was positive, then this one will be positive. Zero factor property. It says you get zero on one side, you factor the other side, you set each factor equal to zero. So I'll set x plus 6 equal to zero. And I'll set x plus 8 equal to 0, which gives us x equals negative 6, and x is equal to negative 8. And those would be our two answers.